Dr. Julie Shell from Bow Bottom Veterinary Hospital, and today I would like to talk to you about kinesiology taping, otherwise known as K taping, and it's a procedure that I learned during my chiropractic training courses. So definitely, if your pet is injured, by all means, bring them to their veterinarians right away. Get that physical exam done; that is so important. Um, when we're dealing with chiropractic malalignments. Often the veterinarians will perform chiro or refer them to a veterinary chiropractor to get that done. Um, and so what I'll often do is do my chiropractic assessment, do my acupuncture on the patient, figure out where the lanus is, try to help them um, fix things up. But say if there's a really stubborn area that's not really improving with all of that work yet, it's not a broken bone and it's not something that requires surgery and it's not like a really bad strain sprain injury, um, I often will use K-tape, which is a very nice way to wake up the muscles make them feel better get that brain and the muscle connected again if that leg has been lame for a while um, you get like almost a pattern of the body getting used to not using that leg and so then that's not very good because the body will almost forget about that leg and you will get muscle atrophy which will create even more dysfunction and more pain in the future you must use it and you must constantly move it in order for the animal to feel good and so um, k tape actually works on these really amazing skin neuroreceptors. There's like mechanoreceptors for touch and pressure. There's temperature receptors called thermoreceptors. There's also pain receptors. And definitely um, these different types of receptors, there's thousands of them, um, will help the body um, reconnect that brain pathway and help promote healing, increase circulation, decrease that kind of like stagnation effect that's occurring in a really weak leg. And so there's various types of tape we um we use we use um, ones that are specific for horses there's also a really nice stickier one that's used for people but we use it in dogs it doesn't actually have to stick like glue it doesn't really do that and the tape is different than other tape it's made of cotton with an adhesive backing oh kingston smells it he knows all about taping um and so what you end up doing is finding that it will stick to the fur no problem and it won't pull the fur out when you are ready to take it off it's amazing that way it's almost like magical um but what it does is it grabs onto the fur and almost lifts these follicles, lifts the fur up. And the, the fur is still intact, of course, it doesn't rip it out. But that stimulates all these neuroreceptors in the body and it helps decrease pain. Our skin and our fur are so sensitive. In humans, their hair is so sensitive. Even if a fly lands on your head, you can feel it and it's this tiny microscopic fly. When you feel that fly, it's stimulating a thousand different neurons in your body and that, um, uh, creates awareness um, in your brain and it helps um, the animal uh, be aware in space. There's also proprioceptive types of um, neurons that help the body realize where it is in position and, and where it is in space and all of that is located in the skin as well. So say for instance, like Kingston is feeling very, very comfortable today, but say for instance he had a sore hip. Um, the hip joint is um, a nice area in the body. He has these cute little tiny legs so you want to feel where the hip joint is and it's just about right here. You can feel the um, the nice area where the femur enters the acetabulum of the pelvis. And so what you end up doing is if I was going to tape his hip, I'll just kind of like measure it out first and I'll cut it. Good boy, Kingston, he likes this, he really does. And I always like to round the edge and that helps. Yeah, Dr. Corin is uh, one of an amazing teacher that taught us a whole bunch of ways to do this and she even wrote a book about it. It's fascinating. Um, and then what you do is you apply it by ripping it like this. Make sure you don't touch the sticky portion because that's not um, good. It will make it less sticky. And I just apply one spot over this way and flap it down. Good boy, Kingston. <laughs> he just likes to have that feeling. And then I'll, I'll apply it the other one by a crisscross shape. So I'll measure it again and just cut it to um, round the edges as well. Good boy, Kingston. I've never had any dogs eat this, but I wouldn't want them to. Usually they don't. Um, they'll keep it on their body. Sometimes if they're bothering one leg, then I'll apply it to the other leg as well, just because when it's symmetrical, they don't seem to bother it as much. So I just let the dog have a chance to walk around with it after I put it on and see what he does with it. So I rip the back off, and then I just kind of apply it like a crisscross shape. So I'm going to let Kingston stand up and show you what that looks like. And so this is treating the hip joint. A beautiful little cross pattern like that and he just likes attention so much he just wants to stay and be loved all day but yeah definitely they can walk with this tape they can swim with it um, it can get wet and it won't um, move it's a very good tape when it's time to take off you just kind of like um, jiggle the area a little bit 
like this and you just kind of like um, gently pull it off it peels off very nicely without causing any damage it's, it peels off very nicely but it's also very sticky so it's amazing and as you can see like it definitely doesn't hurt anything when you take it off you didn't even flinch at all when I took it off but usually I like to keep it on at least for an hour or sometimes it'll stay on for two or three days and that's wonderful yeah so if you have any questions definitely give us a call at 403-278-1984 or check us out online at www.bowbottomvet.com thank you very much